In order to have a go at this small basic task, you need to first find it on Hackett. The task is under Small Basic, Unit 6, and I Like Cars. So, you need to write a program which will ask for a type of car and a colour. It will then display you really want to own a blue Ford Focus, they are great, assuming the user entered blue and Ford Focus. So the idea behind this task is that you've got to write a simple program that asks the user for two pieces of information. First of all, um, a colour, and second, a type of car. Notice that mine has this section here for submitting the answer. You'll only get this if you've actually logged in. So if you've got an account already, all you have to do is log in, and then you'll see this version of the site. So let's get started. First of all, we need to split down the problem into smaller chunks. The first thing we need to do is ask the user, what colour do you like? The first thing in order to do this, we want to display the text, what colour do you like? Now, the right command will allow you to actually display something on the screen. So if I press run, you'll see it displays what colour do you like, and then press any key to continue. Next thing I'm going to do is I need to ask the user, okay, what colour do you like to give them a chance to enter? In order to do this, I need to use the text window again, and this time I've got to use the read command. Now the read command will take information from the user when they're typing. So if I press run again, this time it stops, and you can see I can now type. So what colour do I like? Well, I like blue, I hit enter, but nothing happens. Now the reason why nothing's happening is because I haven't actually haven't told it to do anything. So let's say I want to display that colour. So I'll go text window again, and because I want to display it, I go right. This time I'm going to use right line. And I'm going to enter, I don't know, the colour they chose. So I'm going to run this. We see it says the mirrors. Okay, well, it says the variable blue is used, but its value is not assigned. Are you sure you spelled it correctly? Well, it is spelled correctly, isn't it? But it's saying the variable blue. Well, I haven't got a variable, have I? having to create any variables. So maybe I need to put that in quotation marks. So let's try that. I hit run. So what codes are like? Oh, I like yellow. But it displays blue. Surely it should display yellow for me. Now there's a problem with the code. The problem is, is that although I'm letting user enter some information, I'm not recording it, I'm not remembering it. And in order to remember values, I need to use a variable. So I'm going to create a variable called color and I'm going to use this equal sign. What this equal sign means in programming is assignment. So what's going to happen now, it's going to read in a value and assign the value to this variable. So let's run it again. Let's see if this makes a difference. I like yellow. It's still printing out blue. The reason why it's printing out blue is because I haven't used the variable. So this time I'm going to display the value of that variable. I hit run. What colour do I like? Yellow. I see it now it prints out yellow. Let's just test it again, make sure it's working. I like red. It prints out red. If I wanted to print a bit more out, something like this, I also like I would write it like this. Notice that I've put the text that I want to display in quotation marks, but the variable does not have quotation marks. I've put them together using a plus symbol, so I'm adding the two bits of text together. If I hit run now, what colour do I like? Red. It then says I also like red. Notice this is almost identical to the code we had before where it asked you for a name. You now need to extend this code to ask for what type of card they want and to display the text out properly.